What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Today we're looking at Wolfric the Wanderer for the Warriors of Chaos faction. And uh, it's meant for Warhammer Fantasy, but since that's gone now, um, who knows, he's got his, probably got his own rules, I think, right, for Age of Sigmar. But I'm going to be painting him up for a commission. And uh, we're, let's take a look at some of the things we're going to be looking at on the model. He's decked out in skulls because his fiction is that he is uh, cursed by the Chaos Gods to wander the world and um, challenge everybody to single combat because he boasted that he can beat anybody and so uh, the Chaos Gods punished him for his hubris and now they just send him around the world and send him to fight and challenge people. Uh, so let's take a look at it. You get three fine cast frames. Oh, fine cast. And a 25 millimeter base, which I'm not going to use because I'm going to be doing this for a commission job. So um, here is the body. Right off the bat, I noticed these bits of flash connecting the feet to the, to the boot. That's just going to be really ugly because even if you get in there with your clippers and you try to clip it just so you still have... I'm sorry, you still have this bit right here that you're going to have to go in with your modeling knife. And for a new beginner hobbyist, even intermediate level hobbyist, that's a really easy way to clip off some of that detail and that, that's just too bad. On the back you've got a hand hanging there, this looks like a sea dragon cloak, a fur cloak, he's got trophies from all of his conquests, a human head, an orc head, what looks like a skaven head, more like a rat rat shape there. Um, yeah, all of this flash is really, really ugly, hard to clean, um, but we'll, we'll do that. I love this shield. You don't really see it on the front of the model, but it's basically a person who is completely flayed and is stuck on this shield now. That's so gross. Um, it looks like... See, I can't tell because of the fine cast, but this is a bit of flash in there that I'm gonna have to scrape. And that's terrible because like it's right up against the the teeth of the of the skull and that is just not going to be fun to do um what else this looks like yeah air holes which are caused in the the casting process when air uh, air bubbles get trapped in the mold and then when the the thing is drying it pops open so that's really terrible you got flash in here mold lines just uh, bad news bears. Really, really sad. More work for me to do, but um, luckily Games Workshop is is not really using fine cast anymore, so I guess I can't complain. Finally, he's got a sword in a hand, uh, his trophy rack with another person. Come at me, bro! Uh, trophy rack here, and um, his head. So. Let's take a look at, at the head to get some idea of the detail. It looks like he's got like a little mohawk. I was never happy with the way Games Workshop paints this guy, his, his head. I'm going to paint him in more of a pale pink kind of uh, color scheme because I think that's more interesting. Right now on the box, he looks like he's, he looks like he's dead. You know, he looks like he's been dead and rotting for a long time. Is, is the right side of his face exposed like a skull? Ew, and I can't tell. The left side is his face is all green and like decayed looking, but anyway, here's what the model's supposed to look like. Again, it's too bad you can't see the shield because that is just so, so cool. And um, yeah, let's build it. And I'm gonna be using super glue because resin, fine cast, metal, uh, you, you wanna use super glue. If you're using plastic kits, plastic cement or plastic glue works really, really well. But for this model, we're gonna be using super glue and we'll show you what he looks like in just a second. All right, players, here we have it, the completed Wolfric the Wanderer figure. Uh, I think there's still some flash that I can clean. I'm gonna wait till the glue dries, though. I didn't, you can see from the picture of the Games Workshop model, I didn't want to place him facing forward. I actually placed him with the sword. Instead of the sword facing straight out at the viewer, I have it facing towards the side. It kind of creates a, a larger footprint for the model. And then to make sure that he's not like facing sideways where he wouldn't rank up, if you're playing a game where ranking matters, I put him, I put his head looking 
towards the left over the left shoulder so you can kind of angle him at a diagonal. I think that's much more of an interesting way to place him like this rather than if he was looking straight forward at and then being like two-dimensional like that. So here is where we're gonna call it. The uh, trophy rack on the back is fits really really good into this groove. Um, there's no real issues I had with the gluing of the model. It was more the all of the flash that you know, fine cast models are notorious for. But I'm, I'm kind of turning around on this model. I, I, I wasn't sure if I'd like him or not, but I think it's a pretty, it's going to be a pretty fun job to paint up. So stay tuned and see how that goes. And thanks for watching.